In this exercise, you create geometry by entering precise values for its location or size. You enter values as imperial architectural units. So before we begin drawing, let's take a look at the status bar. And you'll notice that the coordinates are set to read imperial architectural units. And I also want to make sure that my dynamic input is on. I'll begin by starting with the line command and entering the coordinate 0, 0 and pressing enter. Next, we'll move the cursor to the left at 0 degrees. Actually, I'm going to just turn on ortho. We'll move the cursor to the left and enter a value of 36 feet and press enter. Next, we'll move the cursor up, enter a value of six foot dash three dash one half inches and press enter. Next, we'll move the cursor to the right, entering three foot and pressing enter then downwards, entering a value of 6 feet, dash 3, dash 1 half, and pressing enter. Then to the right, entering 12 feet, press enter. Next, we move up, enter a value of 28 feet, press enter. 12 feet, moving to the left, press enter, again down, 6 feet, dash, 3, dash, 1 half, press enter, moving to the left, 3 foot, enter, moving upwards, 6 foot, dash, 3, dash, 1 half, Enter, moving to the left, 36 feet, enter, and then closing the line at the place where it started, pressing enter to end the line command. Next, we'll start the line command again. This time, we'll snap to the point. Here, we will illustrate that even though we're in the imperial architectural units mode, we can still enter the decimal equivalents of those dimensions. So for example, I'll create a rectangle using 96, enter, 48, 96, and C to close. So here you can see that we entered the decimal equivalent of the dimensions, even though we were in an imperial architectural linear unit setting. This completes the exercise for drawing with architectural units.